Let's chat about recording media and formats. With photography, you generally shoot RAW, JPEG, or a combination of both. Because you're only taking one to eight frames at a time, the file sizes are manageable. RAW files contain a lot of information and data in them, allowing for much more control when editing and post-processing. Video is a different story. With video, you're capturing a minimum of 24 frames per second with the option to capture in 4K. This means much more data is entering the camera and it needs to use an efficient codec in order to compress that data into manageable file sizes. In order to handle the amount of data the camera is outputting, you need to use SD cards with fast transfer speeds to be able to record video reliably. And that's why it's so important to choose the correct recording media. Even with efficient codecs that these cameras use, higher data rates and file sizes require, for example, SDXC cards with 95 megabits a second or higher read-write speeds. Both the ILC A7 Mark III and the FS5 Mark II professional camcorder use the same media. SD cards are very affordable, particularly when compared to other types of recording media. And with dual SD slots in both the FS5 Mark II and the A7 Mark III, you never need to worry about missing a moment due to a lack of storage space again. Because SD cards are relatively cheap, it's worth getting high-end SD cards with a transfer speed of 95 megabits a second, a class 10 SD speed class rating, and a class 3 UHS-1 or higher speed class rating. Look out for those numbers when purchasing your media. It's important to remember that when filming in 4K, your SD card needs enough capacity. This is because it requires a higher bitrate to deliver the image quality. For example, on both these cameras, you can film in 4K at 100 megabits a second, giving you about one hour of recording time on a 64 gigabyte card. For optimum quality, I'd recommend filming with XAVC codec and using higher capacity cards. If you do need longer record time, then the FS5 Mark II and the A7 Mark III have dual card slots. This allows you to use relay recording and would be the ideal choice in this situation. It's important to remember that the best way to avoid SD card failure is to use high quality, high capacity and high speed media for video shooting. Using SDXC at 95 megabits a second or above will provide you with peace of mind in any shooting environment. Hi, I'm Dan Lenny. Thank you for watching this tutorial. You can find other useful tutorials and video creation by clicking the link shown. Be sure to click and subscribe to let us help you enhance your skills and be a great video creator.